This is what we do. Wow. Every day. Right out of the gate. At 10.30 for 15 minutes, Brian and I play Minecraft and just have whatever conversation we want to have. Yep. That sounded like David Lee Roth. And I this like is, yeah, this is going to be one of those. Ooh, look at that. This will be a lot of people's uh, last. First last and episode. last. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's this gold. Is, this is going to be the episode that accidentally plays on the train or in the library. Yeah, when your phone disconnects yeah. or whatever. You're like, I hope that somebody was like sitting down with their girlfriend or mom. They're like, I really like these guys. They're funny. They tell interesting stories about ticks. Yeah. Let you love. Everybody freaks out. What was that back there? Was that you had like a little, a little. I have a little alcove. Oh, look at all the silver I have. Good. Oh, Glad not everything got erased. Iron ore, I guess. The That's ingots. Some. The ignots. <laughs> People get really mad when we do that. Which well, is I funny. mean, it's just a dumb word. It's not like you even use it in a while. No, how many how many times in a regular year do you even talk about ingots? Never. That's a good point. He's Never. got he's got you there, ladies and gentlemen. If you think you're gonna start some crap right now. Do you remember that Brian about uh, about you had to take algebra in high school? Oh right? God, did I? Hated that made it. no sense to me because. They were always like, you're going to use this all the time in the real world. And I was like, nope. Nope. Yeah. There's and a whole bunch like, of. How do you know? And I was like, because well, I've never gone to the store and like bought something with X. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, how much are apples? Why? <laughs> no, they just tell you how much they are and you buy them. The pro that's a, This is the big problem with the educational system is that it's really not practical. Anything yeah. you're teaching. I would have loved to have learned more about my taxes, about retirement. About uh, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Oh God! Because I'll tell you what, that that scares the crap out of me, and I guarantee I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, I don't know about the 401ks. Oof. About the like, I know a little bit, but not a not a not, not enough. Nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Yeah. Like you and I at our age should probably really understand this stuff because I feel like when we were kids and we looked at people our age, you thought you like, had it together. They were they were dads yeah. and they knew everything. They don't know anything. No, we don't know anything. Most people don't know anything. <laughs> That's terrifying. Yeah, that's really bad. It's one of those things where I know that I still have the 401k from Fox. I used we were, to be owned yeah. by Fox. Then when they said, hey, you got bought by these guys. Now you have, you want a new 401k. I said yes. And I don't think I've ever gotten any information reported on that 401k. Yeah, me neither. Okay. Well, me neither. I did get something from payroll people, though, that said, log in to find out about you know what's going on with your 401k this year. And I yep. said, great. And I tried to log in. It's like, this isn't the right password. And I'm like, I don't have time for this. And, then you and that was away. like three months yep. ago, and yep. I don't know what's yep. happening. Man, I assume a... everything's working. Yeah. I yeah. also just hope to be dead before I get old. It's Me like, too. I don't want any of that stuff. To have to, I don't, like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, hey, Christine and Portilla 3 are both dead. <laughs> so now you get to be an old man who – With, with $5,000. Your only marketable skill was yelling on camera, and nobody <laughs> wants that now. So <laughs> have fun. I don't know. I mean, I, it's, it, you're not like – it's not like you're uh, – you made a career out of your young, supple body. Sure. That's the only thing I got going. And that's oh, what's always this. so unfair about, like – you know, uh, I guess like, you know, I'm, I always think of it this way, right? Like I am one of the faces of IGN yeah. and I'm, I'm hideous. I have a hideous face, but like if I, if I was trying to be the girl face of IGN or and that maybe that's, that's, I'm painting with a broad brush here. Everybody stick with me, but I yeah. think we'll all agree, right? That most of the quote unquote female faces of anything are like attractive people. Yep. This, the Greg Miller face doesn't fly. I don't think if you're not like. When you're a dude, a dude like I'm like I connect with the audience because I'm like a beer drinking idiot. I don't know. Yeah, when you're a dude, you get away with a lot more in terms of being ugly. Right, a hundred percent. Like, I mean, they, I feel like we, we're treading. You know I, I feel like we're treading on somewhat sexist territory. But you understand what we're saying? It's is, dangerous. I'm yeah. arguing the fact that it's a very unfair thing right now. Yes. In general, I'm not right. saying that it's good or bad. It works for me because I can just eat chicken wings and be popular for that. But I'm saying for. It's an un it's a double standard. That's what I'm looking for. It's a double standard. And I think we all admit that double standard exists. I mean, by no means should you and I be on camera every week. Ever. In Never. A in a show together. hundred percent. By no means. Yeah. Like that's, that's we've defied logic pulling that off. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at these uh crunch berries we got. Yeah, yeah. Make some switches, which I never will. I'll just keep mining it because I need to. Because I need to mine everything. I want that cold. But yeah, it's dangerous. But I mean Everybody's with us on this one, right? You understand what I'm saying here. I'm not saying think, this is right. I think that we are in – we're in a small passage right now. And in like a few years, people are going to be like, no, nah, only get – what are you doing? Put Highly. educated people out there. Yeah, put educated, Doesn't I don't care what they look beautiful like. people out there, even if they're if they're guys. Right now, because the video game industry is kind of young, yeah. you could, there was a couple years where you could be a fat, ugly dude like us. Oh, you think it's going the opposite way. You think, think the days yeah. – we're the dodo. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, no, really? Totally. Yeah, because – I right. thought it was swinging the other way where it's like, oh, well, I guess – here's the problem too is what we're talking about. 
is that there's two sides to this, right? Mm -hmm. There's always going to be the site that's, what's up, extreme gamers? I'm super hot guy, and I'm super hot girl. And, that's, and then there's going to be, what's up, everybody? I'm a respected person. I'm talking to you about this. But then it's the argument of wh who wins out in the long haul. Right. Which one of those sites or you know, forms of media wins out. Right. As we go more and more to video, I, th I don't know. I think YouTube changed it, right? Like, there's a lot of people who aren't that good looking that now can be popular because yeah. everybody's got it. And like, oh, I like that guy. I like that. But like, TV's always the thing, right? Of like, you're you're like an anchor on TV. You're probably a pretty good looking dude. Unless you're the weatherman. The weatherman can always get away with being fat. Well, all right. So I think about it like this a lot. If you walk by like a card shop, like baseball. It, no, no, no. Like a, I don't even think they make Hallmark? baseball cards. <laughs> yeah, like a Hallmark. They still card. make baseball cards. Like in, in all the funny cards, right? Uh -huh. There's there's only two categories on funny cards. There is the like hunky half naked guy. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. got you a package for your birth for yeah. your 40th birthday. And then there's like the extremely fat guy who's yeah. just like droopy everywhere. And they do the same thing with animals where they're like, hey, here's a cute puppy or a kitten. Happy birthday. Or here's a bulldog. Right. He's disgusting, but he's got a tutu on and a crown. Here, you've actually done a really good favor for me here of trying to explain my point of how it, the, the gender roles aren't fair. Right. King of Queens, any show you're watching, right, what happens? Totally, I'm your average everyman, right? I'm, yeah. I'm fat Kevin James. Kevin James, I'm fat too if you're watching this and don't know what I look like. Yeah. We're both fat dudes. And I'm married to this extremely attractive, beautiful woman, according to Jim, right? Courtney Thorne Smith. Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying those people, Jim Jim Belushi and uh, Kevin James, couldn't get attractive wives. Yeah. I'm just saying that, you know, it's rare you see it flip the other way, right? Where it's like, hey, we're normal looking. I think, you know, uh, Mike and Molly on CBS, right? Yeah. Two overweight people, like two normal people. And that's like totally groundbreaking. Everybody's like, oh, great. You never see that. You know what I mean? Yep. Know what I'm saying? You wear the show, Mike and Molly? Yeah. The show during you. football. That's so all I know So what you're saying it. is you want to see a show where there's like this extremely attractive, hunky man, and he's just married to this perfectly normal, perfectly average woman. Sure. Because we've never seen that. Well, I don't, see, I, what I want to see is that I, what I'm, try, I'm doing my best to try to express is that I, we're, I'd like to see us all get away from that. Where I it agree. doesn't matter what you look like. Oh, I guess for like a sitcom or something, whatever, there's escapism there and yada yada. But right. for video game news, everybody should be allowed to look like Greg Miller. Sure. Because Greg Miller is not good looking. Greg but Miller does not have the same standards as... Here's here's the third the third circle of doom I want to enter with you. Man, we are testing the waters. I know. How many people watch these? Right. <laughs> Let's find out by how much hate mail we can get. So, uh, there's attractiveness and then there's knowledge, but there's also age and video games have predominantly been a young man's thing you're right so this is something i worry about right so even greg miller brian altano video game experts they love video games they play them all the time they talk about them all the time they do videos for their fans everything's great everything's yeah. wonderful one day we're gonna be just baggly old men yeah being like oh the, well the new titan falls got a, a i think it's got a how many players are online right and we're gonna be so out of it and it's not really gonna be about our looks or our personalities or anything like that, unless we're just like, you know, sharp until the very last day. Yeah. It's gonna be about some ten year old kids when we're playing, you know, Flappy Bird twelve for the first time and he's gonna be like, Who the hell's this stupid old man? Yeah, why do I wanna hear about this idiot telling Yeah, like what this is who's why is his grandpa? This is one of my big concerns I always talk about, right? Is like I think a lot of people you see it, they come to IGN, they do they live their dream for a little bit, yeah, and then they go about whatever their you know, their next dream project is or whatever, yep. right? And Greg Miller has said from day one, this is always this is all I've ever wanted. Yep. This is cool, and like IGN keeps evolving, giving me shows, and let me do whatever I want. Yeah. That's all red. What does happen when I'm – am I – you know what I mean? Like, what the hell? Oh, no. What happened? Where's the water? Jump in the water. Oh, oh dude, we're going to lose everything. Uh, Stop, drop, and roll. Stop. Oh. What happened? <laughs> I think I stepped on gravel. I don't even know what happened. You fell in the lava. No, there was no lava there. There had to be lava there. You fell in lava. You what? don't step on gravel. You don't burst into flames. But I'm saying I stepped – I see it looked like I was falling. I think I stepped on gravel and fell. Oh. I think I hit out. I think I hit out something. Oh, like a quicksand gravel cube. Right. Oh, oh that's bad. Man. Oh, oh, I you that. know what it says? Try to swim in lava. Well, hit. I guess I hit the gravel and fell. Well, you guys can tell us again. We're the Minecraft. And you dudes. can get back down there and try to get what you can get, but I'm gonna tell you right it's now. It's all on fire. Most of it's bursting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna go check it out. I'd like to see what happened. I'd Man. like to investigate. Yeah, what happened? Down that there? was surprising. I had so much good stuff too. I had all that gold. That's the that's the problem with Minecraft, I guess. Man, that was really actually kind of scary if you think about it. We're talking about, you know, what's gonna happen to us someday. It's just like real life. What's gonna well, drop we're all in a washed bit up, of fire? We're washed up old people. It's a young man's game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you look at it now, like you know, I'll, I th I feel like ten years from now, 
you know, in our in our early forties or whatever. Yeah. It's gonna already. It's gonna kind of be like that. Yeah. What are you talking about? Why are you talking about this? So, but here, so stick with me on this. Uh huh. I think it just evolves, right? Like I think me going to an event or whatever as a forty-year-old, forty-five-year-old, like in like I'm writing stuff down and doing a preview, like sure. that might be weird. But you look at like you know Jay Leno. You know, he's he's Johnny Carson. All there, there's people who are as are we're still thinking of it very much from this is you know, we're super young, the industry's super young, how does this play out? We don't have answers to these questions yet. Right. But I think there's there's a there's a possibility there that, you know, I can still host an up at noon style show, not up at noon. Of course, wrong, of yeah. course. I mean there's there's room for and maybe it is up at noon. I yeah. mean who knows? Um but <laughs> I, what's up we're talking about up at noon? <laughs> Episode two thousand. <laughs> um no one will buy that because by then hey, you'll man, guys you'll really look most old day. people wake up at five in the morning. Um wow, look at this skeleton cow. I need I need, I need all your junk. <laughs> Idiots. It's auto save. One dumb friend. Always has the auto save right in the middle of a skeleton war. Damn, I got no food to eat too. I'm going to have to go out and kill some people. Yeah, it got bad. It got real bad. We yeah. had a lot of things. We fell into the lava. It got ugly. But I don't know, there's there's room for for old tigers. Hey, that's the crazy thing about how young our industry. Oh god. I have uh, Well, here's the thing. Our industry is young, but it's also die, die. This is all your fault. <laughs> it's also like growing with us. Yeah, like See, that's what I'm saying. We don't know. Uh, the industry's so young, there's no answers to these questions because nobody's been that old yet. Yeah, exactly. Like there's no nobody has really turned. Nobody in video game journalism has turned like seventy yet. Right. Really. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna happen someday. It's of course. Happen before you even know it. I mean, not before you know it. It'll happen like 30, 40 years. Like, it'll happen pretty much exactly. Well, no, because then we're know. underselling things. Like, how old is Andy Eddie? Andy Eddie worked with us forever, and you specifically over at GameSpy. Yeah. And then he went and he ran Gamer of the Magazine for a while at Best Buy, the Best Buy Magazine. Yep. And then, I don't know what he's doing now, actually, do you? He's probably writing about video games somewhere. Sure. But that's a man that was just like, I want to write about video games forever. He never wanted to be like, I'm going to, you know, do on camera personality. Sure. Stuff, good, point, you know? good point. Good point. Good Although point. he was on uh, Nickelodeon in like 1985 talking about the Game Boy. So. And the Master. I thought it was a ma it didn't he, he, I think he did like a rundown of everything, right? Oh, Where yeah, he did yeah, like, because yeah. I remember him talking about the Master System. Yeah. And like that. I love Andy Eddie. He's oh, a great man. No, no, yeah. Th this is, none of this is. I think we all would have tell you how much yep. we love Andy Eddie. He wrote the forward to uh, Game Over, which is one of the best books about video games you can read. I've you never read it. Up. I should read it. It's really cool. It's, it's a little outdated now because it's sure. just like. Who would have ever thought that Super Mario could take over the world? It's hard to believe it's, it's been three believe. years since Super <laughs> Mario Brothers. But video games with the when bleeps you think and bloops. Of toys, <laughs> you don't think of it as a business. And we're so different now because now it's definitely a business, and we yeah. all know that. But see, and that's what I'm. I mean, I I guess that's the whole thing you gotta talk about. Right? Like, yeah, I definitely see myself evolving. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I I don't see myself, you know, like I said, going to previews anymore, which I really don't for the most part here and there. But then like. For sh even like one day I'll be tired of hosting. I'll want to stop doing that, and maybe that's when I become Nick Scarpino, who everybody knows is super old, and he just like makes videos. He's not in videos all that often. Right. He just produces them. Yeah. I don't know if you'll get tired of hosting though, because to me, like, you've become so natural with hosting that it's really just you having a conversation you would have had regularly. Yeah. But with a camera in front of you and you having to say some like dumb legal crap before. Like, that's all it really is. Some it's dumb you, legal crap. It, it's like you and I could sit there and talk about, you know, the other night's Walking Dead episode. Or you could be like, what's up, everybody? Now we're all big fans of The Walking Dead here at blah, blah, uh, blah. Okay. So what really happened? So, Brian, and then we have our conversation at the end. You go, for more on The Walking Dead, keep it locked to walkingdead.com and the walk talkie, blah, blah, blah. And then that's keep it. Keep it locked to this beam in your brain. Exactly. And that's the future. Oh, you think so? No. All right, so where did everything go wrong? This is not bad. Oh, okay, that might have been the pit. No, that I I was working on it, and then I went around that corner. Okay, you went around the corner to your alcove that you were so fond of earlier. I had so many. T I had so much good stuff. I know. This sucks. It's okay. I still want to understand what happened because it was Down here. Yeah, I, don't I mean, get I, what happened again, either. we can easily. I guess the viewers like I just paused it and rewind it. I know exactly what happened. Oh, there oh. you go. That's what happened. Okay. Well that that must makes sense. Was that gravel then? Did yet? we fall into the room that you didn't finish covering before? God oh, that damn it. That sucks. I think we you're we, right. I thought it was so much more like devious it than seemed, that. It seemed like we fell really far. Yeah. And then now. It's just actually, and if you think about it, we actually were we burst into flames almost instantly. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's sad. Yeah. See, when you're playing with, by the lava, you should always have 
little water by I just you. didn't think that I knocked it through, you know what I mean? The way it's that, that dumb gravel. See, this is what I'm telling you. If we ever were to write our top 100 uh, Minecraft blocks. We don't even put dumb gravel on there. Yeah, I mean, that's that's 99. Yeah. No, 100 would probably pooping. be poop. I don't even know if they're pooping this 100 game, would be poop, says Brian Alphine. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is another Minecraft Let's Play with Brian and Greg. Every day we give you 15 minutes at 10.30 here on IGN.com, on YouTube.com slash IGN. But if you just want Minecraft videos without all the other IGN noise, you go to YouTube.com slash Minecraft IGN. These videos go live there. Everybody's happy. Brian and I are winners. We don't do drugs. Mm-mm. This has been a fascinating. I didn't. I, like I said, you never know what we're going to talk about in this two-man podcast. Yeah. It was interesting to get into gender roles and age in video game journalism and, and where it's all going. Was that this episode too? Yeah. Not God, touched, algebra though. sucked. Yeah, algebra was really bad. Uh, yeah, and like that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, that's where it started with the 401k stuff. We almost started the same conversation over again. I'm going to try to get out of here and get to the thing and sleep. Or save, I don't know, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to lose everything again. Mm -hmm. That's how they get you. Uh, Brian and I will be back tomorrow with another 15 minutes of awesome Let's Play goodness. Thank you for watching. Be kind to one another. Don't get so hung up on looks. Let anyone who's smart talk about video games. How about that? Yeah, it's all about personality anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess the most beautiful thing in the world is, is somebody that can make you laugh or say something intelligent. Handsome people can get out of the way unless they can do that too and if that's the case then i mean i don't even want to live because then they have everything and what am i supposed to compete with this is how i feel when i look at max scoville yeah it's ridiculous he's too damn good looking yep he's it's, he's like so good looking but he's just so stupid yeah and you're like, well here we see, go that's the one trick where this you guy who like, just like right. good looked his way to the top he's a good man but he's also the type of dude like he would walk into a wall by accident so it's like haha oh cool you guys read some books i bought this katana max Boom. walking into a wall yep <sighs> beyond